What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to do Steven's favorite type of video. Today we're gonna to be talking about five things I hate about my Focus ST. This one's kind of cheating, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in here anyways, because I meant to do this video a lot sooner than I did. But I hated the rear wiper on this, and I have deleted it now, and I think it looks much better. But this is kind of a bonus. I'm not gonna count it as the five things, but I hated this rear wiper and this focus badge, and I've deleted both of them. So anyways, I just wanna throw that in as a quick bonus, but for now, let's get into the rest of the five things. All right, I think the thing I hate most about my focus is it's the ST1 package which is the boring, bland interior. Now I have done some things to spice the interior up and we'll get into those in another video, especially these shift boots. Once I get these installed right, I'm gonna do a video on them and uh, kind of go over where I got them and whatnot. But yeah, if we sit down in here, my focus has the most boring interior. Uh, these gauges up here are cool. This looks okay. Uh, the steering wheel's great. I do love the steering wheel. But this right here uh, is just a bummer to look at. Uh, I, I would really like a Tesla style screen. If I could ever find one that would keep the backup camera, I might uh, end up getting one of those in the future. Guys, if you have a good replacement for this that keeps the backup camera, comment it down below. I would love to see them. The second thing I hate about this car, it has to do with the interior as well. There is no room to put anything. I mean, this center console, I mean, I can't even fit my, fit, fit my fist in here all the way down. I mean, to me, that might as well not even be there. All I've got is these cup holders, basically. Like, here's my garage door opener, because I hate putting them up on the visor and, like, causing creases on the visor. But then... If you look, this cubby hole is so small, and I'll go ahead and show you my complaint about it. So here's an iPhone uh, 13 Pro. This isn't even the big iPhone. This isn't the Max. But if I, you really can't put it in there anyway. And if you put it here, you can't shift into gear without hitting the phone. So there's just really nowhere to put anything in this interior. So that's probably the second thing I hate about my ST. Bonus, um, I painted this, it does look nice, but I'm gonna get this powder coated at my friend's shop. Stay tuned for that video, guys. You all are not gonna wanna miss that, but he's gonna fix this for me. We're gonna powder coat it to where it matches this a little bit more. But anyways, just a quick bonus tip for those of you all that watch every video. I do appreciate it. And guys, if you're not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That's the best way to help the channel out. The third thing I hate about my Focus is its front wheel drive. I told myself after I got rid of my Civic Si that I would not get another front wheel drive car. But I end up getting this anyways. Now, there's nothing wrong with front-wheel drive cars. Like I said, when I bought this car, uh, I was almost, I wasn't disappointed in myself, but I just told myself I wasn't going to get another front-wheel drive build next. I wanted something all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. But the more I got to thinking about it, uh, the more I'm not going to be doing any kind of drifting or anything like that anyway. So really, it doesn't matter. But the third thing I hate about my Focus is that it's front-wheel drive. Fourth thing I hate about my Focus ST is when you have the air conditioning on and you got like two or more people in here and if you're like on a hill at a red light this thing lugs to take off like it just does not want to take off at first uh, i don't know what the deal is or if any of y'all with a focus st you know if you have like you know we had like some uh bags in the back and i had my wife and my friend in here during fourth of july it was super hot outside this thing just lugged to take off at the red lights like i don't know why i just hesitated to take off and i really don't like that so most of the time when i'm driving this i'm not running the air conditioner but tell me all of you all with focus sts tell me if you have a problem with this 
uh, with your air conditioning. I hope the heat isn't as bad during the winter. Uh, I haven't owned this car during the winter yet, but we shall see. But that's the, that's the fourth thing I hate about my Focus ST. And the fifth and final thing I hate about my Focus ST is that it's black. Everybody knows black paint is the absolute worst to take care of. So right here, the paint's pretty good on this now because I have buffed it and it does look really good. This used to be really swirly, but any touch up paint, you can just see real well. And then all the defects in the hood. And then when bugs hit the front end, it's really hard to get it off. And th this front end, I think I'm eventually gonna have to have a new front bumper or get this one repainted. But guys, just the, just the black in general is just very difficult to keep clean and to keep swirl free. You have to wash it a certain way. And uh, so yeah, guys, those are the five things I hate about my Focus ST. Guys, if you have a Focus ST, comment down below. Tell me the five things you hate about your Focus ST or tell me five things you hate about whatever car you're driving. Well, all right, guys, that's where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, please make sure you're subscribed, guys. That's the best way you can help out this channel. Make sure you hit the thumbs, button, thumbs up button on this video. I'm going to link all our social medias down in the description box below, Instagram and TikTok. And I'll have some Amazon affiliate links down in the description box below. Click on any of them. Uh, no extra charge to you. It does help the channel out. Make sure you visit pandamotorworks.com. Use code B Lewis. Guys, until next time.